battles and three musical performances. The Rio 2016 artistic segment alternates musical performances by Brazilian pop stars with playful dance battles by groups who include disabled and non-disabled dancers in a playful, joyful celebration. And this is Carlinos Brown. Carlinos is a musician and producer and is one of the most creative and innovative artists in the Brazilian music scene. He's released seven albums, the last one of which is Mixturada Brasilia. He was nominated for the 2012 Academy Awards for the original song of the film, Rio. Here's our second battle. Carlinos is not sure what's going on. He uh, fading into the background as our next second battle comes on. Parafuso versus Frevo. This is Alamas do Successor. Brazilian rock band formed in Rio in the late 1970s. Third battle, Capoeira versus Samba Naponta. The third and last dance battle here between Capoeira and classical ballet. Interesting is that uh, these ballet dancers are the only professional ballet company for visually impaired people in the world. They're accompanied by Roberto Marquez, internationally renowned Brazilian ballet dancer. And 
and uh, this colourful lady is Thelma de Fretas. a Brazilian actress, singer, songwriter, record producer and dancer. So that's the end of the three battles and uh, into a wonderful party to finish off Rio 2016's segment. A taste of what we may see and experience in Rio in four years' time. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the chairman of the organising committee of the London 2012 Olympic and Paralympic Games, Sebastian Kerr, and the president of the International Paralympic Committee, Sir Philip Craven. Your Royal Highness, Sir Philip, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, together these past few weeks we've shared some wonderful days, haven't we? Days where incredible people have performed feats we hardly thought possible. Days in these Paralympic Games when our minds were open to what people can do, to what they can achieve by sheer talent and determination. And I want to share with you two stories from these days. Everyone will have their own tales to tell, but these are mine. I was travelling on the tube when I met someone wearing the familiar purple uniform and a pass marked medic. A games maker. And the games makers stand among the heroes of London 2012. We began talking. His name was Andrew, and he told me he was a doctor at St. Mary's Hospital on his way to helping out at boxing. But when I tried to thank him, he wouldn't let me. He said he was the one who wanted to do the thanking. And as we did a very British dance over who should thank who, he suddenly cut through all the politeness and said, I was on duty on 7-7 that awful day. For me, this is closure. I wasn't sure. He told me I wasn't sure I should come or whether I could face it. I'm so glad I did, for I've seen the worst of mankind and now I've seen the best of mankind. Just a few days later, I met Emily, a games maker at the Paralympic Games. She talked of what the games meant for her and what participating in wheelchair basketball means to her.
It has lifted the cloud of limitation, she said. So Andrew and Emily, I'm going to have the last word. Thank you. Thank you to you and all the volunteers. The Paralympic Games The Paralympic Games has set new records every day sporting records records for crowds for television audiences for unbridled spirit In this country we will never think of sport the same way and we will never think of disability the same way And Emily, yes, the Paralympians have lifted the cloud of limitation. <laughs> Finally, there are some famous words you can find stamped on the bottom of a product. Words that when you read them, you know, mean high quality, mean skill, mean creativity. We've stamped those words on the Olympic and Paralympic Games of London 2012. London 2012 made in Britain. Sir Philip. Thanks, Seb. Your Royal Highness, athletes, officials, games makers, distinguished guests, Paralympic sports fans from all over the world, these have been quite simply amazing Paralympic Games. Four years ago, the Beijing Paralympic Games closing ceremonies theme was a letter to the future. That letter was received with open arms by SEBCO's London Games Organizing Committee, who had over 100 staff in the Chinese capital committed to delivering successful Paralympics in London. What they breathed in in Beijing left them smitten and determined to deliver an event that would feed the British public's insatiable appetite for elite sport. <laughs> By building a giant theme park for sport in East London, designed to attract the world's best athletes, the Olympic Delivery Authority and LOCOG have helped inspire a generation. These were not just London's games, but thanks to Charles Allen's Nations and Regions group at LOCOG, those of the entire United Kingdom. Buoyed, buoyed by the medal success of a host nation, this country has enjoyed a real feel-good, sorry, feel-good factor like never before. <laughs>